Welcome everybody to a video that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. So it's a video about moving specific objects in space. So I already made a script and we're going to go through it together. So what I'll do is maybe I should just delete it all and get from the beginning. So the basics of moving a object is the transform of that object. So what is a transform? It's basically a component that is hard coded into any game object. So even if you create a empty game object, it will always have a transform. And that's what we're going to be using to move a object. So the most basic command of moving a object would be to use transform dot position. So the way we're going to do that is by defining a new position. So what we can do in here is do public vector three new position and then we can just call a method called public move object and to actually it's called void my bad every time move object gets called what we're going to do is simply use transform dot position is equal to new position so this will just snap the transform position into the new position so if we save this go back into our game and we go into our cube so we're gonna see we already have a move this object script so in order for any script to work it should be present somewhere into your scene so what we're going to do is just drag and drop it in here we don't necessarily need a box collider so we're just gonna leave it like this so now all we need is a way to trigger this new position and the simplest way of doing that is by just going to you into ui and creating a new button so here is our button maybe we should just put it into the middle of our scene and we're gonna assign a on click drag the cube drop it into the on click method and select the method that we just made so the method that we made is called move object as we can see in here it's called move object so now if we hit play and we click the button it's going to snap into zero the reason why is because we have set it to zero so if we raise it a little bit and now we click it it's going to snap in to one position so that is the simplest way of moving a object now we're going to take a look at some more dare i say advanced ways of doing that so the very first thing that i want to mention is that if you want to move a object the script does not have to be attached to that object so what i'm going to do is remove and i'm just going to create a new script called something like scene so we're going to grab the scene drop it somewhere into maybe into main camera and remember it has to exist somewhere into your scene so now open up this the scene script and now we are going to take a look at how we can build a function that will move this object into one direction every time we click this button so the way we're going to do that is by first referencing this game object so one of the ways of doing that is by just saying public game object but this references the whole entire game object which we don't need we only need the transform so we're going to do transform and cube now we have a cube and we can do whatever we want with that cube so let's build a public void again move cube and now in here we are going to build something a little bit different so since we want this cube to move into one direction only what we can do is say cube dot transform dot actually we don't have to say transform because this is already a transform so cube dot position plus equal two. now this only adds into this position so the way we're going to add it is by obviously making another float in here and we're gonna call it something like distance distance will be defaulted to one so now each time we press this move cube function it is going to add in a distance into the transform so the way we're doing that is by saying a transform dot right times distance 
So now this will move into one axis only. Now, if you want the axis to be local, you can say transform dot right. If you want the axis to be global, what you can say is vector three dot right. So now if we save that, go back into our scene and don't forget to go into the button and assign the main camera into this click method. Then go into your script, which is called just scene move object. And now the object should move. Let's hit play and let's see if we get any errors. So it's going to yell at us because we have a, an assigned reference. The problem is that we have a transform that has not been assigned. So just take your cube, drop it into this transform right here. And now if we hit play, it should all work fine. So let's hit the button and let's see the cube actually moves. We can say minus one and the cube moves into the opposite direction. If you want the cube to be moving into another axis, what you can see is just transform dot up or transform dot forward. There we go. Now this will move this cube into the forward direction. Now the last thing that I want to mention on moving a object is something called lerping. So lerping can be added in two ways. First, you might want to add lerp into just one axis. And if you do that, you can use a another float in here. So we're just going to say public float move value. And now this move value can be assigned like this. So we say move value is equal to mathf dot lerp and the lerp takes a float a and b and the time obviously so we're gonna say for the float a is this for the float b is the value that we are trying to get so maybe maybe we can just pass in distance and for the float time dot delta time times one so this would be a method to move into just one axis However, this lerp only works if you use it into a fixed update or a update function. So we're going to say fixed update and just drag and drop this into here. Now this move value will be updated each frame. However, if you want this cube to move into a completely different position, or maybe you want another game object like this one, for example, you can just color code it to something like this. And then what we can say is just move this somewhere into here. And now we would like this object to smoothly transition from here over to here. So the way we're going to do that is again, we're going to use a fixed update. So what we're going to say in fixed update is that function that we just did. So in order to trigger that function, we are going to need a Boolean. So we're going to say public boolean and move target let's just call it like that it's going to be defaulted to false and then we're going to straight away use that move target so we're going to say if move target open and close brackets and then in here we want to say the cube dot position is equal to vector 3 dot lerp now this again takes in a vector a which will be cube position to here and for the second one we obviously need another transform so we're going to say public transform destination let's call it just like that destination so we want to transition from the cube's current position into the destination time dot delta time we can manipulate the time and we can say another float in here and this time we are going to use a handy tool called range in here and we're going to range it from 0 to 1. Public load lerp speed. Now we're going to pass in the lerp speed into here. And there we go. Uh, the one problem that we are having right now is destination doesn't work because it's a transform and we need the position of it. So just say destination dot position. And there we go. Now what we want to do into the move cube is just trigger this move target. So every time move cube gets called we want to say move target is equal to true and there we go now we go back into our scene we're going to make sure that we have no null references so as we can see now this is none the destination so we're just going to drag in and drop this in here 
lerf speed let's leave this 2.4 and let's go back into the button make sure that the move cube is selected so let's hit play and let's see if we have any errors so now if i hit this button we should see this cube transitioning into here so let's see there we go the cube is moving into this direction now let's try and play around with this value so first let's disable the move target so it's not following let's remove this game object so it follows from here over to here and let's lower this lower speed to a very low value so now if i hit the button it goes even slower so if i increase this we should see the cube moving faster let's try this one more time hit the button and we should see it follows the point now you could use another method called smooth damping which is almost the same the smooth damping works like this so you should define the game object in here called cube dot position is equal to vector 3 dot smooth damp now the only problem with the smooth damp that is that it takes in a reference velocity and you always have to use this velocity on zero so you should say in here vector 3 velocity is equal to new vector 3 okay so the velocity has to be always at zero or maybe you can use a different velocity it's up to you and then if you and then after you do that you can just copy this then use this velocity in here so reference dot reference and velocity and then it also takes in a smooth time so just gonna copy this paste it in here and i'm just going to increase this lerp speed to 100 and now let's see if i had play this should smoothly transition to this there we go it may be a little too quick so we're gonna go and change these values there we go now it smoothly transitions from one position to another and we can just move it around we're gonna see it follows around okay so that is the basics of how you can move a object into space so thank you for watching and uh, we'll be back with another video